Hey everyone, today I'll teach how to count the number of vowels in a given string. Let us say we have a string. Say hey everyone. We have to count the number of vowels in this sentence. So let me write down all the vowels. We have A, E, I, O and U. So let me manually count how many vowels we have here. We have one vowel E, that is one. We have one E over here, this is the second one. This is three. This is four and this is five. We have five vowels in this sentence. So how we will do a program for this? We'll have a variable called count, which will be initially zero of type int. Let me write down the string again. So we'll use a for loop to traverse this string and at each location we will check if it is equal to any of these if it is equal we will increment count by one that is count plus plus if it is not equal we will move to the next location so here we see it is a h so we will not increment we will move to the next location we see it is a vowel so we will do count plus plus then we move to the next character and this way we are going to traverse the string and check if it is a vowel or not if it is a vowel we will increment count if it is not a vowel we will just move to the next character so if you note here we have a capital E over here but we are checking for A, E, I, O and U which is of lower case So either you can do like this, you can check for A, E, I, O, U in lower case and A, E, I, O, U in upper case. This will be a little lengthy approach. So what we are going to do, we will take this S and we will convert this S into lower. For that we will use two lower case. This inbuilt function will convert this S which has you know few capital letters into S as Hey everyone This inbuilt method will convert S into a string which has only small letters or lowercase letters and then now from here we are going to check for lowercase a e i o u so let me write the for loop for you so we will have a for loop and it will start from i equal to 0 since this is a string it has index number for each character this is index number 0 1 2 3 so we have a space over here that will be 3 this e is 4 this is 5 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So I will start from 0th index. It will go up to i less than s dot length and then i plus plus. So this will help us traverse in the string one index number after other. So what we have to do inside we have to check if the character present at ith location is equal to any of these a e i o e so first let me create a character variable say ch and i am going to store this character into this ch so what is this character this character is s dot character at index number i so initially i is 0 so s is the string character at location 0 is h and h will be stored here in the first iteration 
so now we have to check if this ch is any of this aiou so we'll use if ch equal equal a or if ch is equal equal small e or ch equal equal small i or if ch is equal equal lower case o or u if it is a match what we have to do we have to increment the variable count okay so this is the for loop so let me write the program over here we have string s as hey everyone we have a variable to count the number of vowels it is count and it is initially zero so as i have already told there are chances that there will be a mix of upper and lower case characters in the string so simply we are going to change that s into lower case so we are using inbuilt method to lower case now this s has been converted into lower case as i have explained so every character this h and this e which was upper case will now become lower case now we will go to the for loop i starts from 0 so this is integer i equal to 0 i less than s dot length i plus plus now we are going to take each character and we are going to store it in a variable of type char say char ch we are going to take one character and store it over here let's say s dot character at index number i so we are going to take each character at each iteration now we are going to check if it is a vowel i hope you understand the logic of or gate here this is nothing but if this condition is true or if this is true or if this is true or this or this if any of these condition any even any one of these condition is true then we will enter the if statement okay so inside this we are going to do count plus plus we close the if we close the for loop and outside we have to print if you learned anything from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you